comfortable seat. Rooting down through the sit bones. Lengthen through the spine, all the way out through the crown of your head. The chest slightly lifts. Shoulders relax. Release tension from your face. Hands can be in chin mudra, index finger and thumb to touch. Inhaling through the nose. The open mouth exhale, release. Inhale through the nose. Open mouth, exhale. One more time, inhale. Audible exhale. Bring your hands to touch the heart center and Anjali Mudra. Preparing for three rounds of OM. We'll take a full inhale. Full exhale. Inhale for three ohms. Uh... And a full breath out. 
Inhale three quarters of the way and begin. Exhale, 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 exhale. Moving on to our next pranayama exercise. We'll keep the left hand in chin mudra as it is. Our right hand will come into Vishnu mudra. Index finger and thumb to the base of the palm. <laughs> Taking Nadi Shodhana, alternate to nostril breathing. As we inhale, we'll bring our right hand, thumb to touch the right nostril, and we'll exhale out our left nostril. Inhale through your left nostril. Close the left with your ring finger and hold for three, two, one. Exhale right, six, five, four, three, two, one. Inhale right, four, three, two, one. Hold both nostrils for three, two, one. Exhale left, four, three, two, one. Inhale left. Hold both. Exhale right. Inhale right. Hold both. Exhale left. One more round, inhale left. Hold both. Exhale right. Inhale right. Hold both. Exhale left. Releasing right hand back to the lap, chin mudra. And come back to your natural breath. Checking in with your posture, again grounding down through both sit bones, spine nice and long, chest lifted, shoulders relaxed. Beautiful. Bring your hands to heart center, Anjali Mudra one more time, lowering chin to chest, and setting an intention for today's asana practice. Remind yourself what brings you to the mat, why you practice yoga. And slowly, gently, blinking your eyes open, coming back into your space. And on your next inhale, bringing both arms up overhead, reaching up. On an exhale, release right hand beside right hip and side body stretch over to the right. Continue to ground down through your left sit bone, creating space between left hip and left rib cage. Relax your shoulders, perhaps turn and look under your left arm if that's comfortable for your neck. Slowly inhale back to center, reach up. Exhale, left hand down, side body stretch to the left. Again, this time grounding down through right sit bone, creating space in the right side body. 
relax your shoulders, and then maybe turn your head, look up, your right arm. Inhale back up to center, relax your shoulders as you exhale. Inhale, find length, and then exhale, twist, left hand to right knee, right hand behind your back. Inhale, lengthen out through the crown of your head. Exhale, twist, look over right shoulder. Inhale, back to center, lift your arms. Exhale, twist right hand to left knee, left hand behind your back. Inhale, lengthen and lift. Exhale, twist, look over left shoulder. Inhale, return to center, arms up overhead. Exhale, forward fold, reach forward. Releasing nose towards the floor, bowing to your practice. Beautiful. Slowly return back up to center, lift your arms up overhead. And exhale, hands by your sides. Switching the cross of your leg, just putting the opposite leg in front, evening out through the hips. Inhale, arms reach up overhead. And exhale, forward fold. Beautiful. Noticing the difference between both sides. Inhale, slowly lift up to center, arms up overhead. This time bring your arms behind your back, fingertips point towards the hips, and then lift up on the knees, lift the hips, perhaps drop the head back behind you. And then chin to chest, slowly lower down, coming up over your knees into tabletop position. Beautiful. From tabletop, fingers are spread wide, wrists right under the shoulders, knees right under the hips. On your inhale, drop the belly, lift your tailbone, look up. Exhale, curl in, chin to chest. Inhale, cow pose, drop the belly, lift the tailbone, lift the gaze. Exhale, cat pose, curl in. One more time, inhaling, nice and slow. Exhaling. Inhale, coming back to a neutral tabletop. Draw the low belly in. And then extend right leg back behind you. Keep the right foot flexed, right hip points down. Inhale to extend. Exhale, draw your knee towards your nose. Inhale, press the right foot back. Exhale, knee to nose. One more time. Inhale, press, lengthen. Exhale, core engaged. Inhale, press back. Cross the right foot over the left foot. Inhale, find length, and then exhale, look over your left shoulder at your right toes. Beautiful. Inhale, back to center, and exhale, tabletop. Great. Inhale, left leg extends back behind you. Flex the foot, left hip points down. As you exhale, knee to nose, curl in. Inhale, lengthen, press back. Exhale, knee to nose. Inhale, press. Exhale, curl in. Beautiful. Inhale, extend. Exhale, cross left foot over the right foot. Inhale, find length. And exhale, look over your right shoulder. Beautiful. Inhale back to center. And exhale, tabletop. Inhale, curl your toes under. 
And then on your exhale, lift your hips up and back for downward facing dog. Nice. Fingers spread wide, pressing evenly into all ten fingers, distributing the weight through the hands, taking some weight and pressure off of the wrists. Nice strong arm. Shake the head yes and no to release tension from the neck and shoulders. Hips are high. You can get to pedal out the legs, checking in with your hamstrings, just noticing how the body is feeling. Beautiful. And then coming into more of a static, downward facing dog, holding here. Very slowly, begin to walk your feet to meet your hands, hanging in Uttanasana, forward fold. You can grab opposite elbows here, really release through the neck, let the head hang heavy. Find a gentle rock side to side, maybe shifting the weight around in the feet, just notice where the weight is falling in your feet. And then release fingers down by the toes. Slight bend into your knees as you begin to curl yourself all the way up to stand, keeping your head heavy, nice and slow. Chin is the last thing to lift. On an inhale, bring your shoulders forward and up. And on an exhale, bring them back and down. Stepping to the top of your mat, Tadasana Mountain Pose. Bring the big toes to touch. Heels are slightly parted. Energize the legs. Lift the kneecaps by engaging your quadriceps. Slight tuck of the belly in towards the spine. Chest lifts. Shoulders relax. Face relax. Inhale here. Exhale, hands to your heart. Inhale, reach arms up overhead. Exhale, Uttanasana, forward fold. Inhale, step your right foot back, lower the knee, and shine your heart through. Hold your breath as you step back into plank pose. And on your exhale, lower your knees, chest, and chin to the floor. Inhale, Ujjangasana, Cobra Pose. Press into the tops of the feet, lift the knees, lift the heart. Exhale over the toes, downward facing dog, Adha Mukha Svanasana. Inhale, right leg steps forward, drop the left knee, shine the heart through. Exhale, step to the top of your mat, Uttanasana, forward fold. Inhale, rise, lift the arms up overhead. Exhale, hands to your heart, Samasthi to Heat. Inhale, arms up overhead. Exhale, Uttanasana, forward fold. Release your neck. Inhale, left foot steps back. Lower your knee, shine your heart through. Hold the breath, plank pose. Exhale, knees, chest, chin, lower down. Inhale, Bhujangasana, Cobra, heart lift. Exhale, Adha Svanasana, downward facing dog. Inhale, left foot steps through, lower right knee down. Exhale, Uttanasana, forward fold. Inhale, rise up, arms lift. Exhale, hands to your heart, Samasthi Tiki, close the eyes. We'll do two more rounds just like that. Inhale, arms up overhead. Exhale, Uttanasana, forward fold. Inhale, right foot back, lower the knee. Shine the heart through. Hold the breath, plank pose. Exhale, lower knees, chest, chin, keeping the hips lifted. Inhale, cobra pose. Relax the shoulders as you lift the heart. Beautiful. Exhale, downward facing dog. Inhale, right foot steps through. Left knee down. Shine the heart. Exhale, Tanasana, forward fold. Release your neck. Beautiful. 
Inhale, rise up, lift the arms. Exhale, hands to the heart, samastiti. Inhale, arms lift up. Exhale, uttanasana, forward fold. Inhale, left foot back, knee down, heart lifts. Hold the breath, plank pose, step back. Lower the knees, chest and chin, hips stay lifted. Beautiful. Inhale, cobra. Exhale, downward facing dog. Inhale, left foot forward. Exhale, Uttanasana, step to the top of your mat. Inhale, rising up, lift your arms. Exhale, hands to your heart, Samastiti. One more round. Inhale, arms up overhead. Exhale, forward fold. Inhale, right foot back. Knee down. Hold your breath, plank pose. Exhale, knees, chest, chin, lower. Inhale, cobra. Exhale, Adha Mukha Svanasana. Inhale, right foot forward, left knee down. Exhale, Uttanasana, forward fold. Inhale, rise up, lift your arms. Exhale, hands to the heart, Samastitihi. Inhale, arms up overhead. Exhale, Uttanasana, forward fold. Inhale, left foot steps back, lower your knee. Hold the breath, plank pose. Exhale, knees, chest, chin, elbows in. Inhale, cobra. Exhale, downward facing dog. Inhale, left foot steps forward, right knee down. Exhale, Uttanasana, forward fold. Inhale, rise up, arms up overhead. Exhale, hands to your heart and close your eyes. Check in with the body. Check in with the energy stirring through your body and your mind. Grounding down through the soles of the feet. And at the same time, energy lifting up and out through the crown of your head. Samastitihi means standing at attention with our full presence and awareness. Blinking your eyes open, lift the arms out in front of you, palms face down, coming up onto your toes, and then squeezing everything into the midline of the body as you slowly bend into the knees and lower all the way down to the sit bones. Nice and slow, beautiful. Give yourself a little hug when you come here, wrap your hands around your shins, release chin to chest, and then slowly roll onto your back for a well-deserved mini Shavasana. Let the feet fall away from each other, arms by your sides, palms face up. A full release for about 10 breaths here. Checking in with the body, in physical form. Beginning to invite some gentle movements into the fingers and toes. Maybe shake your head side to side, move the hips. And preparing for leg lifts to activate the core. Remember, keep your arms by your sides, but let the palms face down for support. Bring the legs to touch and then flex both feet. Toes point up towards the ceiling. Nice. Now try to keep your shoulders relaxed during these leg lifts. Low belly is drawing in. 
We inhale, lift the right leg for five, four, three, two, one. Exhale, lower the right leg, five, four, three, two, one. Left leg, inhale, lift, five, four, three, two, one. And exhale, lower, five, four, three, two, one. Inhale, right leg lifts. Keep the low belly in, protect your low back. And slowly exhale, right leg lowers. Beautiful. Inhale, left leg lifts. Nice and slow, foot flexed. Exhale, left leg lowers. Relax the face. Inhale, right leg lifts. Exhale, right leg lowers. Inhale, left leg lifts. Relax the rest of the body. Exhale, left leg lowers. One more on each side. Inhale, right. Exhale, right. Inhale, left. And exhale, left. Preparing for double, double leg lift. So if you know you have any low back pain or low back issues, you can bring the hands right under the low back, right under the sacrum for a little extra support. If you want even more of a challenge, you can bring the hands behind the head. And then from here, legs together, feet flexed. Both legs at the same time. Inhale, five, four, three, two, one. Exhale, lower, five, four, three, two. Hover, inhale, lift, five, four, three, two, one. Exhale, lower, five, four, three, two. Hover. Inhale slowly. Exhale slowly. Relax the shoulders. Relax the face. Coming down to hover. Two more times. Inhale, lift up. Nice. Exhale, lower down to hover. And then last time, nice and slow. Slow as you possibly can with the breath. And exhaling down as slow as you can. Hover. And then gently release. Beautiful. Release the hands. And when you're ready, lift the right leg up overhead, interlacing the hands behind the right thigh. Drawing the toes down towards the face, foot is flexed. You can stay here. If you want a little bit more, begin to walk the hands up towards your right ankle, lifting the shoulders and head up off the floor. Nose comes in towards that right knee. Beautiful. Keep left heel down, left leg straight. Keep breathing. Letting go of any unnecessary tension that you're holding. Inhale, lift a little higher, pull the knee in towards the nose, and then slowly, mindfully release the upper back and head to the floor, and slowly lower right foot down to meet the left. Inhale, left leg lifts, interlace the hands behind the back of the thigh. Just checking in here, toes drawn down towards the nose. Again, stay here if this is enough, or begin to walk your hands up towards your left ankle, lifting the head and shoulders, nose towards the knee, maybe bending into the elbows just a little bit to deepen the stretch. Letting go of the tension in the shoulders and face. Inhale, lift a little bit higher, and then release back down, lower left foot to meet the right foot. Pause for another mini shavasana. Let the feet fall away from each other. Palms face the sky. 
perhaps feeling a little more throughout the core of the body, the solar plexus, bringing some heat, and then balancing that out with this time for cooling, for rest. Perhaps coming back to your intention that you set in the beginning of practice. Just reminding yourself, reflecting on that. And again, bring some life back into fingers and toes, gentle movements to wake up the body from this rest. When you're ready, slowly hugging the knees into the chest, maybe gently rocking side to side first, a little massage of the low back and kidney area. And then begin to find a rock forward and back, building a little momentum as you do so, perhaps rocking forward and back three times. And then crossing your ankles, coming over your knees and finding a child's pose, balasana. Reaching your arms out long. Knees can be wide or together. If the knees are wide, it's a little bit more of a hip stretch. If the knees are together, it's a little bit more of a low back stretch, just discerning what you need more. Getting heavy down through the hips. Nice long spine. And release through the neck. Staying with your breath. Preparing for our headstand. We'll come up onto all fours, and then lower down to our forearms. Measuring the distance between your biceps, you can bring one hand to the opposite bicep, and that's the distance that your elbows should be apart, so we're not going to dump into the shoulders. Interlace the hands all but the thumb, and then bring the crown of your head to the floor, so you're looking back at your thighs. Press the back of the head into the hands, and then curl your toes under. Straighten the legs, just like downward facing dog, lift the hips. And then begin to walk the toes in towards the nose. Making an effort to stack shoulders over, I mean hips over shoulders. You can hold here if this is enough, perhaps lifting one leg and then the other. Or maybe you'll lift up into Shirsasana headstand. Breathing. Pressing into the forearms to take some weight out of your head. Seeing if you can even just maybe lift the head for a slight second. Core is engaged. Shoulders away from your ears. Create more space in the upper back. The king of all asana poses. Countless benefits for inversions, reversing the blood flow from the feet back to the heart and the brain. Even if the legs aren't fully extended, this is still an inversion. The head is above the heart. Beautiful. When you're ready, 
slowly and with control coming down and returning to Balasana, child's pose. On your next inhale, come up tabletop. Begin to walk your knees towards your wrists as you cross your ankles. And come back onto the back body, rolling the knees in towards the chest, and then shifting the weight so the feet come up over the head for a halasana plow pose. Beautiful. This first time we do plow pose will be more of a prep pose. So you can bring your hands to your low back. Walk the elbows in as close as you can, so the hands come closer to the shoulders. And then when you're ready, lifting the legs up for Salamba Sarvangasana, supported shoulder stand. Beautiful. Keeping the gaze straight up, straight up at the toes, and eventually working to stack shoulders over the hips. You can walk your hands a little further down. Beautiful. Squeeze everything into the midline of the body. Beautiful. When they lift, walk your hands down. Mm -hmm. Yeah, nice. I'm just being very mindful of the neck in this pose. Beautiful. Yep. Holding here. Another inversion. Shoulder stand to the queen of the asana poses. Powerful pose. Core is engaged, breath is strong. Three more deep breaths here. Very slowly, coming back into Halasana Plow Pose. This time to hold. Ideally, legs stay straight. Toes hit the floor, press out through the heels. Arms can come to the floor, interlace the hands if that's comfortable. Beautiful. I'm going to try to lift up through the backs of the knees and press out through the heels. Beautiful. Lifting up and pressing back. And again, mindful of the neck, not twisting. Come to the tips of the toes, press out through the heels. Feel that? Nice. Beautiful. Three more full breaths, present and aware. Keeping the arms on the mat, so you can separate the hands, palms to the floor, and very slowly begin to bend the knees, curl the spine, and lower upper, middle, and lower back to the mat. Bending the knees and bringing the soles of the feet to the floor. Pause here for a moment, one hand to the heart, one hand to the belly. And just notice the effects of those inversions. Preparing for bridge pose. You can bring the arms by your sides, feet, uh, heels very close to the sit bones. Maybe you can brush the heels with your fingertips. So slide the heels in. Nice. Grounding down through the shoulders and the soles of the feet. As you inhale, begin to lift your hips towards the sky, sliding shoulders towards each other, and again, maybe interlacing hands under the back. Beautiful. Squeezing everything into the midline. Imagine a block between the thighs. Beautiful. Just ever so slightly release the glutes. And 
allow the muscles of the, the legs to work and the muscles around the spine to really engage. Beautiful. You want all ten toes pointing forward. Keep the feet nice and straight. Great. And lifting up in the space between the shoulder blades. Nice. And then gently release the hands. And so again, slowly lower upper, middle, and low back down. Bringing one hand to the belly, one hand to the heart. And let go. Preparing for one more back bend. Option to take bridge again, just as we did before. Or if wheel is in your practice, you'll bring your hands up over the shoulders, fingertips point down towards the feet. As you inhale, you'll lift up, pressing into the hands, hips up towards the sky. Beautiful. And then again, trying to keep the feet pointing straight. Nice. Beautiful. Imagine squeezing that block, so try to keep the feet straight. Nice. Breathing. Big back bend. Inhale. Exhale, chin to chest. And slowly lower down. One last time. Hand to the heart. Hand to the belly. Appreciate that beautiful breath. We'll extend the legs out long. Bring the arms by our sides, hands right under the sacrum again. Preparing for fish pose. We'll press into the forearms, lifting the chest, look forward. And then release, lift the chin, crown of the head towards the floor. Beautiful. Zip the legs up together. Yeah, nice. Nice counter stretch for shoulder stand, releasing through the throat, chest is lifted. Breathing. To come out, tuck chin to chest and slowly lower down. Hug the knees in towards your chest. And again, gently rock side to side. Little back massage. And when you're ready, finding that momentum, rocking forward and back. Maybe three times, and then this time, coming onto the sit bones and extending the legs straight. Finding staff pose, we'll flex the feet, all ten toes in towards the body. Lifting the chest. Arms by your sides at first, just checking in with your posture, relax your shoulders. And coming into Pashimottanasana, inhale, lift the arms up overhead. Exhale, lead with the heart, hinge at the hips, reach forward, and then release nose towards the knees. Hands can come to the shins, the ankles, or maybe the feet. Beautiful. And then use your breath. With every inhale, you lengthen and expand. And then every exhale, maybe you come a little bit closer to the legs. Inhale, lift and lengthen. Come all the way up, arms up overhead. Exhale, hands behind your back, fingertips point towards the feet. Inhale, lift the hips, point the toes, try to get the toes to the floor if you can. And if it's comfortable, release the head back. Inhale, lift the hips a little bit higher. Exhale, come all the way down to the sit bones, cross the ankles, come over the knees into a plank pose. Checking in with our plank alignment. Fingers spread wide, again, shoulders right over the wrists. Low belly tucks in and up. 
Lift up behind the kneecaps and press out through your heels. Nice long cervical spine, long neck. Inhale here. Option to drop the knees. And as you exhale, slowly lower all the way down to the belly. Elbows in as slow as you can. And pause for a mini Shavasana. Arms by the sides. Turn onto one cheek. And just let go. Feel the breath connecting into the floor. Your heart rate from holding the plank. Coming back to the breath, the presence in this moment, right here, right now. Preparing for two different cobra poses. We're bringing the hands under the shoulder for baby cobra, just as we did before. Tops of the feet press into the mat, kneecaps lift. And then as you inhale, you'll lift the chest. For baby cobra, if you lift the hands off the mat, you'll be able to hold the pose. Relax your shoulders, really strengthening that low back. Inhale, exhale, lower down. Now bring the hands back in line with the back, the breastbone, a little bit further back. Continue to press into the tops of the feet. This time, inhale, Maha Bhujangasana, perhaps straightening the arms a little bit more, bigger back bend, look forward as much as you can straighten. Not crunching into that low back, slight engagement of the core to protect your low back. Inhale, exhale, lower down. Beautiful. Arms by your sides, pinkies to the sides of the body. Yes. Preparing for three stages of locust pose. Zip up the legs, bring the chin to the floor. Yes, look forward. Press into the top of the left foot as you inhale, lift your right leg. Yes. Lower right leg. Top of the right foot presses as you inhale, lift that left leg high. Beautiful. One more time on each side. Lower left and lift right. Lower right and lift left. Beautiful. Lower left. Preparing for full locust pose. We'll begin to lift both legs, lift the chest, lift the chin, and then reach the fingertips back towards the heels. Maybe squeezing pinkies towards each other. Imagine squeezing something between the shoulder blades. Full locust pose. Inhale, lift a little bit higher. Exhale, slowly lower down. One more time, full locust pose. Inhale, lift, feet, chest, chin. Reach the fingertips back, relax the shoulders, relax the face. Core slightly engaged. Inhale, lift a little bit higher. And exhale, lower down. And final back bend, prone on the belly. Bend both knees for bow pose. Reach the hands back for the ankles or the tops of the feet. If you have the ankles, flex both feet. And then just like bridge pose or wheel pose, imagine squeezing the thighs together as if there was a block between them. Inhale, lifting up, lift the chest, lift the chin, and squeeze everything into the midline of the body. Beautiful. Keep those feet flexed if you can. Nice. Inhale, lift a little higher. Exhale, gently release. Hands under shoulders, press up over the knees and find your child's pose. Nice, feel a nice release through the low back after all those strengtheners. Now we get to stretch the low back and child's pose. Finding yet another balance between heating and cooling. Appreciating this time for rest. Reflecting on the temporary nature of all things, whether it's a challenging pose or a juicy resting pose. Staying strong through the challenges and 
appreciating and dwelling in the resting time. Begin to walk your hands in towards your body. Sitting off onto your right hip and sliding your left leg around so the left foot grounds. Grounding down through both hips. If that's not quite possible, you can extend the right leg long and take the twist from there. Left toes pointing towards the top of your mat and grab the shin to find leverage to lengthen your spine. Inhale, lift, right arm high, and then exhale, twist, right elbow to the inside of the left thigh. Left hand can come behind your back. Inhale, lift and lengthen out through the crown of your head. Exhale, twist a little bit deeper. Perhaps bringing the right hand into chin mudra, next finger and thumb to touch. Uniting consciousness, universal, individual. One more full breath in, lengthen. Full breath out, twist. And slowly unwind back to center. And switch your legs, the right leg will cross over left. Beautiful. Again, find that leverage to lengthen the spine. Inhale, left arm lifts. Exhale, twist, left arm to the inside of the right thigh. Inhale, lift and lengthen out through your crown. Exhale, twist. One more full breath in, and full breath out. Unwinding back to center. Uncross the legs, soles of the feet to the floor, and then shift your weight forward, coming into Malasana Yogi Squat. Hands to the heart, elbows to the inside of the thighs, chest lifting. Beautiful. Stay here. We get to play with Bakasana Crow Pose. Hands can come to the floor, spread the fingers wide, need to straighten the legs parallel the feet. Bend into the elbows like Chaturanga in towards the body. Knees towards the underarm, back to the triceps. And even if you just slightly begin to hinge forward, shifting a little more weight into the hands, and that's your practice today. Strengthening the wrists. Or maybe you can lift your feet, coming into fly to crow pose. Keeping your gaze forward, drishti in one spot. Awesome, lovely. Beautiful. Holding, or trying one more time, Vakasana, crow pose. Arm balance, working on concentration and focus, strengthening the wrists and the arms. Core is engaged, using the bandhas. We'll meet back in yogi squat malasana when you're done. Nice work. Hands will come to the floor. We'll begin to straighten the legs, draw the feet towards each other, coming into uttanasana, forward fold. Holding this time, you can bring the peace sign fingers around the big toes, let the elbows splay out. Full release through the neck, nose towards the knees. You can stand on the tops of the hands if that's comfortable for a deeper stretch as well. Bringing the toes in towards the wrist crease. Staying with your breath. And releasing your hand variation, slight bend through the knees, 
Again, curling yourself all the way up to stand, keeping the head heavy. Chin is the last thing to lift. Inhale, shoulders forward and up. Exhale, shoulders back and down. Stepping to the top of your mat. Inhale here. Exhale, hands to the heart. Samasthi to he. Standing at attention, closing your eyes. Eyes blink open. Right foot steps back on your mat. Turning to the lateral position. Both legs straight. Trikonasana, triangle pose. Extend the arms out long. Inhale, reach left arm forward. And then drop left hand down, right arm up. Beautiful. Stay open across the hips. Left hip tucks under, right hip tucks back. Reach up and out through the right fingertips. Spread your fingers wide. Thanks. If it's comfortable, look up at the right thumb. If not, look down at the left toes. Beautiful. Three more breaths on this side. Nice. Keep the legs strong. Core engage as you lift yourself up. And then step to the top of the mat. Samasthi to he, hands to heart. Beautiful. Full breath in. Full breath out. Stepping left foot back on the mat. Turning parallel. Both legs straight. Arms out to a T. Reach right arm forward. And then right hand down, left arm up. Trikonasana, triangle pose. Beautiful. Staying broad across the chest, stacking the shoulders, finding that expansion. Gaze can be up or down. Strong legs. Thanks. Running down through the four corners of the feet. Using your breath to stay present. Beautiful. Three more breaths on this side. Nice. And again, strong core, strong legs. Lifts you all the way up. And then we step to the top of our mat. Samasthi to he, hands to heart. Close your eyes. One full breath in. And full breath out. Eyes blink open, arms extend out, palms face down. Coming up onto the tippy toes, keeping everything into the midline of the body as you bend into the knees and slowly lower all the way down to the sit bones. When you arrive, give yourself a hug one more time around the shins. Thank your body. And then slowly rolling onto our back for our final resting pose, Shavasana. Letting everything go. Feet fall away from each other. Surrender. The ultimate surrender. The most important pose in the yoga asana practice where the body fully reaps the benefits of the movements and the shifts of energy. One last time, inhale through your nose. And open mouth, exhale. Last time, inhale through your nose. Audible exhale. Shavasana. Nothing left to do but simply be as you are.